Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I am gonna be trying out a new type of two ingredient pizza dough bomb. I am gonna be trying to make chicken pot pie bombs. Now this was suggested to me by a viewer, so thank you Donna for the suggestion. She asked me if I could try to come up with a chicken pot pie bomb, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I've never tried this before. I have done several other bombs and I will try to link those up above and down below if I can find them all. But the chicken pot pie, I have never tried. So hopefully this is gonna turn out. But I am using one of my other recipes as kind of a guide for this. And that is for the bubble up chicken pot pie that I do. So I'm gonna kind of use that recipe, change it a little bit and hope that it works for these bombs. But let me jump in here and show you what you're gonna need. First off, you're gonna need your two ingredient pizza dough dough. Now I've got a double batch of this because I think that I'm gonna have probably enough filling for 16 of these. I usually, when I do my bombs, I usually only do them eight at a time or one batch of the dough at a time. But like I said, I think I'm gonna have enough filling to do 16, so I made up two, and if I don't use all the dough, I will refigure points and change that. But that's what we're gonna start with, is two batches of that. And if you've not seen how this is made, I will link a video up above and down below where you can check that out. But it is very, very simple. It is only the two ingredients of not fat plain Greek yogurt, and self-rising flour. You mix the two of them together, you knead it, and you get this dough. So that's what we're starting with. Then over here I've got 12 ounces of chicken breast that I seasoned a little bit with Lori seasoning salt and baked it in the oven and I chopped that up. And then here I've got a half cup of low fat cheese. That's the Kroger 40% less fat Mexican blend that I use for pretty much everything. It's one of my favorite cheeses that I've found as far as the low fat go. And then here, I've got 12 ounces of mixed vegetables. Now I'm letting this kind of defrost. I don't want it frozen when I start with it. So that's been sitting out for just a few minutes. Here, I've got a jar of turkey gravy, 12 ounces. I get this at Aldi. And then in it, I'm also going to be putting about a half cup of the Greek yogurt. For seasoning, I'm gonna be using a little fresh ground pepper, some granulated garlic, onion powder, sage, and thyme. And that is all that's gonna be in this. Oh, and I almost forgot, you're also gonna need a little bit of extra self-rising flour to roll and work with your dough. Now, when I factor my recipes in the recipe builder, I always factor in an eighth cup of flour per batch of dough. So I factored in a quarter cup of flour in order to do the kneading and then the rolling out of the dough. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pan here and I'm gonna put it on medium heat and I'm going to add in my chicken. Now this is all already cooked, but I just kind of want to get it and all my other ingredients nice and warmed up before I uh, put them in the dough. So next I'm going to add in my veggies, my jar of turkey gravy, and then my seasoning. Now as far as seasoning goes, you can kind of do whatever you want on this. I'm just going to add a half teaspoon of the onion powder, half teaspoon garlic, and then about a half teaspoon of the sage. And about a half teaspoon of thyme. And then finally some black pepper. You could add salt if you want. I'm not going to because we're always cutting back on our salt. All right, so now I'm gonna just kind of let this cook in here so it gets nice and heated through. 
And those veggies also get the rest of the way defrosted and heated through. So we'll just let this kind of cook here for a few minutes. I let that cook on medium for about five, six minutes. It's starting to bubble, so it's nice and heated through. So now I'm gonna turn my heat off. And then I'm gonna add in a half cup of that fat-free plain Greek yogurt. You can also use sour cream, fat-free sour cream if you want. Either will work. So now I'm gonna just stir that in. And I'm gonna set this aside while I work on the dough. So as I said before, I've got two batches of this dough here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with cutting my dough ball in half. So now I've got two roughly the same size. I'm gonna set one aside. And then I'm gonna take the other one, flatten it out a little bit, and then cut it into eight equal parts. And then I'm gonna take each individual part and I'm going to roll that out into about a five inch diameter circle. I went ahead and rolled out six of those. And now I'm gonna take some of my filling, probably about two to three, probably closer to three tablespoons of it. And then on top of that, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of cheese and then I'm gonna just fold up the sides. Kind of pinch them together. Like that. And flip it over. Now I forgot to show, you're also gonna wanna have one beaten egg so that you can um, put some of this on top with a basting brush in order to brown those. But I will have that down in the uh, ingredients list in the description box of this video. So I'm gonna keep filling these and then once I've got them all filled, I will come back. Now that I've got those all rolled up, I'm gonna go ahead and brush a little egg on the top. You don't have to do this, this is just to Give them more of a browned look. I've also got my air fryer preheating at 400. Now you can absolutely bake these in the oven too. I'm just gonna do them in my air fryer because I've been doing pretty much everything in my air fryer. But I will put the bake time and temp down in the description box for the, for the oven as well. Okay, so now that I've got those brushed with egg, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my air fryer. And I'm gonna spray my air fryer with a little bit of olive oil cooking spray so these don't stick. And then I'm gonna just lay them in there. And I'm gonna just do five at a time since I didn't put them in there spaced out enough. So I'm going to do these for, I think, I'm gonna start at five minutes and see how we're looking. All right, that is five minutes. Ooh, I'm thinking good. they look pretty good. Pretty dang good. So I'm gonna pull those out, I'm gonna let them cool, and then since my hubby is here and I am currently fasting, I'm gonna let him try them and let you know what he thinks. I've got two of these, which is a serving. At least I hope it's gonna be a serving. If this doesn't end up making 16, like I assume it's going to, I will add that at the end here. But looking at how much filling I've got left, I'm assuming it's gonna do the 16 bombs. So for, for 16, and then a serving size of two, 
it is going to be seven points on green and just five on blue and purple. And again, if that is not what ends up happening with this, I will add a clip at the end of this, but I'm thinking it's going to. So I'm going to have my hubby try them. Let us know what he thinks. Yeah, that's really good. So the, I mean, I assume this is like your traditional chicken pot pie. Filling? Mix. Yeah. It's what, it's very similar to um, the bubble up. Yeah. That I do. So it tastes very familiar, but I, mm -hmm. I really enjoy that. But the dough, and this is just your two ingredient dough. Mm -hmm. It's got a really nice flavor and I don't know if it's, cause I don't remember the other bombs tasting quite that way. Well, that's interesting you say that because I did use Chobani Greek yogurt mm -hmm. to make the dough. So, and I usually almost always use the member's mark. So it is a different type of Greek yogurt this time. Yeah, that's really good. Okay. So that's I love interesting. The bombs. You love the bombs. I know the bombs are good. All the different ones. Like I said, I will try to find the different ones that I've done. I originally found these on the Weight Watchers website and then I just started doing kind of my own. But yeah, they're really good. And I don't know, seven points. What do you think for seven points for two of those? Mm -hmm. Not too bad? Mm -mm. All right. Well, thank you, Donna, for the suggestion to make these. I think they turned out. You think they're a winner? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, chicken pot pie bombs made with two ingredient pizza dough. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you as always for watching and we'll see you on the next one.